This week, the paratroopers. Robert Vermillion of the United Press would like to see you, Colonel. Vermillion? Oh, Vermillion, yes, yes. He covered the campaign in Italy, didn't he? Yes, sir. Well, send him in. Yes, sir. The Colonel will see you now, Mr. Vermillion. Thanks. How do you do, Colonel? Hello, Vermillion. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Well, what's on your mind? Another scoop for the United Press? Well, sir, not exactly. Uh, I'd like to go along with your paratroopers on their next mission soon. What makes you think it's going to be soon? You've been receiving a lot of reinforcements lately at this air base. Yes, yes. Well, Vermillion, I'll keep you in mind. That's all. Thank you, Colonel. Excuse me for saying it, Mr. Vermillion, but you're nuts. <laughs> Who isn't? What do you want to jump out of a plane for? Haven't you heard that a paratrooper holds his life in his thin silk shoot one slip and you're a garment? Now, haven't you heard, Phil, that the Lord rewards the daring? You're nuts. Say, and by the way, uh, what are you doing jumping out of planes? Yeah, but I'm a paratrooper. I got training. I got the know-how. The know-how? For me, yeah. But what about you? How many times have you jumped out of a plane? Huh? Come on, quit stalling. You heard me the first time. How many times? Once, twice, three times? How many times have I jumped from planes? Well, um, uh, none. <laughs> Well, Captain, this is what we've been waiting for. Yes, sir, it's good news. Oh, uh, before I forget it, better send in that United Press correspondent, eh? Robert Vermillion? Yes, that's the man. Thirsting for a little excitement. After what he went through in Italy? Yes, he wants more. This time he'll really get it. <laughs> sit down, Vermillion, sit down. Oh, yes, sir. There seems to be a lot of activity here. Never mind the activity. You still want that action? Well, sir, things have been kind of quiet lately. Vermillion, we're moving in on southern France. Southern France? Well, uh, when, sir? 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. Our job will be to pave the way for troops landing from naval and airborne craft. I'd like to come along, sir. All right, Vermillion. See Captain McCall. He'll give you all the instructions he can. Glad to have you along, Vermillion. Well, thank you, Captain. Now, before we issue your equipment, you'd better get an earful of my 45-minute paratroop training course. <laughs> okay, when do we start? Right now. First, we'll go into the parachute shed. Well, uh, what's in here? Parachutes? Makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Some shed. Think you're ready for your first lesson? Oh, sure, sure. I can take it. Good man. You see that over there? Yeah. That's a parachute. You put it on like you're putting on your overcoat. Some overcoat. Any questions? You know, I wouldn't know enough about it to ask any questions. So far, so good. Be sure to put on your parachute before you get into the plane. Uh-huh. Otherwise, you'll break all records for bouncing off the ground. <laughs> yeah, that is a good idea, Captain. The record? No, the parachute. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Now, once you get into the plane, you're going to find it pretty crowded with guys wearing parachutes like yourself. And unlike yourself, carrying rifles, automatic pistols, submachine guns, 60-millimeter mortars, and a few hand grenades. Is that all? No, not quite. We also carry signal and demolition equipment. But Captain, uh, what about the chances of uh, survival? A trifle risky. But you see... We're always supported eventually by reinforcements from land, air, or sea. Well, who's going to support us in southern France? Well, I'm not sure, but I think it'll be the airborne troops. Now, where were we? Oh, uh, uh, you told me to be sure and strap on my parachute before taking off. <laughs> yeah. Well, after the plane takes off, you just sit there like sardines and think about the jump. Uh, what about the jump? You grab the sides of the door of the plane, bend your knees, and... Push yourself out with your feet. Oh, uh, just like I was diving. But you probably won't do it that way. Most everybody forgets on their first jump. What happens if uh, I forget? Forget? <laughs> the guy behind you will kick you out, that's all. Everybody? 
Everybody here, Captain? Yes, sir, all here. All right, men. Quiet. All right, your attention, please. You have been chosen to spearhead an invasion which may break the enemy's back. We're going to hold until hell freezes over. The password when you land is Charlie Jack. Now, one more thing. I want you to know how proud and glad I am to be with you. Well, men, I'll see you in France. God bless you all. All set, Vermillion? All set. Okay. Climb aboard. Okay. Here, I'll give you a hand. Up you go. Oh, all right. Hey, take my hand, Captain. Okay. Oh, there you are. Well, hello, Vermillion. Sit down here with me. Oh, thank you, Colonel. Everybody in, Captain? All in, sir. Well, what do you say, men? Everybody happy? Yeah! 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 All right, men. All right. Fifteen minutes to go. Better get set. Okay. Oh, brother, here we go again. Easy, men, easy. Don't bunch up. Check your equipment. Our vermilion. Right behind you, Colonel. When the green light flashes up at the end of the cabin, that's the signal to jump. You understand? Yes, sir. Now, I'm going first. You follow me. Okay. Don't worry, vermilion. I'm right behind you. All right, men. Stand up and hook up. Stand up and hook up. All set. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Well, there's the light. Let's go. All right, Vermillion. Okay. See you below. I leaped out after the colonel, forgetting all I'd been told to do or how to do it. The propeller blast seized me, sweeping me beneath the plane's tail. Then came an agonizing shock as my chute opened. I felt as if I were being torn to pieces. Green, red, and yellow lights flashed in my head like a high score on a pinball machine. A moment later, all motion had ceased. I seemed to be hanging in midair. But I was falling fast, going down, down, down. Oh, a tree! Of all places to land. Oops. Oh. 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 So, so this is France. Well, I better get going. Got to meet somebody sooner or later. What's that? Maybe this will raise him, whoever he is. Charlie Jack! Charlie Jack! Charlie Jack! Charlie Jack! Hey! Hey! Well, this is Robert Vermillion of the United Press. Yeah, that's right. Did you have to push me out? Hell no, you went right out. Hey, uh, where are we? Come on, we're going to find out. Look, look over there. The Colonel's flare. Come on, let's go. Glad to see you, Vermillion. Hello, Captain. I'm glad to be here. Hello, sir. Well, so far, so good. I guess we're all here. Let's get going. Funny. Where are the Germans? Can't tell yet. Looks like we pulled a snake on them. Hey, hey, somebody's coming. Where? Over there. It's a Frenchman. Hey, you. Oui, monsieur. Will you tell us what you know about... Americans! Ah, <laughs> we knew you would come. What can you tell us of enemy force in this area? Ah, they've all gone into the interior. They're going to join forces in the north. Can you beat that? A crowd in sight, I'll be doggone. Hear that, Captain? Huh? Sounds like planes. To the south. Planes! Hundreds of them. Reinforcements. We'll need them later. One 
hour and 40 minutes, we stood in awe, watching one of the greatest spectacles of the war. A great fleet of transport planes and gliders dropping troops into the valley. It was one of the greatest shows of sheer airborne power anyone ever saw. As more and more came roaring in without drawing a single shot, the colonel said in a low voice, What a sight. It's all my heart can stand. Makes you feel good, doesn't it, Vermillion? Good? Captain, it makes me want to sing the Star Spangled Banner. Right. Right. <laughs> listening to Paratrooper, the story of the airborne invasion of southern France as seen through the eyes of Robert Vermillion. Other United Press correspondents are on the world's battlefronts, ready to flash you the news whenever and wherever it happens. We will present another in this thrilling series, Soldiers of the Press, soon. Be sure to listen. And meanwhile, look for United Press dispatches in your favorite newspaper. Listen for United Press news on the air. It is your guarantee of the world's best coverage of the world's biggest news.